Extremely annoying shift later. Greetings, guys, gals, and Godmaster Gamers alike. I'm a Granny Gamer, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. And to catch those of you up who were not at the stream on Saturday, um, we did a good amount of things. And by which I mean we got the first trial of the sword done, so the Master Sword is now up to 40 damage permanently. Uh, and we did a bunch of shrine side questing. And I figured I'd start this episode with a decent length uh, grind side uh, session. Da Ka Ko Shrine. Um, but I figured I would go around and basically use the Sheikah sensor for the first time ever, uh, for me anyway, uh, for something other than finding shrines. Thusly, um, I had changed the detector to detect um, rare ore deposits, as was evidenced by what I did there, um, and get myself a whole bunch of money, because after, well, I just found this shrine here, and so we're going to do this, and once we're done with it, hopefully it's not another major test of strength, it's not stalled flight. All right, I'm going to assume we need to... Whoa. I am very scared. I'm assuming we need to... Actually, I have no idea. I'm guessing we need to cryonis this when it's attached. Okay, so we need to... Um, swap this to stasis. Okay, we get on top of it. Okay, so as soon as this is at its apex, we need to freeze it. And... Whoop. And that's done. Wow, that was actually quite simple. Oh, except there's a thing across the way. Darn it. And now I'm stuck in here. Well, we can always just walk right back in and grab that chest, but um, I kind of locked myself in here. So let's get the fluorescent, fluorescent explosion and another circle. Uh, but yeah, we did several shine... Uh, shine. Jeez, I'm blending my two main series together right now. Uh, shrine side quests. Um, most of the ones that I had already. Um... And just some general exploration. And we got two of the three remaining memories. So if you want to see my reaction to those, one of which being very sad, uh, and it being also the um, the one that I had no hope of finding in the woods, because it looks generic woodsy, uh, we found that one. And then one other one, uh, that one being... Oh, shoot, I'm trying to remember where that one was. Whatever the case may be, we got two memories, and if you want to see all that coolness go down, um, you're more than welcome to... Oh, jeez. Ow. You're more than welcome to watch the uh, stream. The VOD is up on YouTube, and thusly, you are more than welcome to check it out. I think we had a lot of fun, and several people showed up that hadn't before. It was a very special time, and I enjoyed myself greatly. Thusly... I figured we'd start this episode off with getting a bunch of money, that thing right there being a good help in that regard. Um, so I grinded a bunch of rare ore deposits and normal ore deposits so that I can sell a whole bunch of stuff and then perhaps find a fairy to upgrade my gear here. Oh! Well, I think that's the rare ore deposit that I was looking for on my way here. I was the stoop. And did not under... I did not see it, apparently. Uh, problem being, I'm worried about emonies in the area. I don't see any at the moment, so let's yeet our way up here quick. Is this indeed the one I was looking for? Uh, they just appear to be normal, but hey. Any minerals going toward the cause is good minerals. Oh! Oh! Hello, you're new. Drop. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's swap to this. 
drop. What is here? Whoa! Ah, uh, I gotta take a picture of that. Never seen that before. Oh, geez. Drill shaft. Interesting. Goron artisans used recycled metal to forge this weapon. The tip is made from an old excavation bore, which affords it unmatched piercing capabilities. Ooh, I wonder if it'll be good for, like, um, shield breaking. Or, like, shield stance breaking, I guess. But yeah, that was a cool little side quest. Hold on. E? Oh, that seems fascinating. I imagine we're going to be going there rather shortly once we start up the Varudania main quest line of stuff. But for now, I want to get back to Goron Village, sell all the minerals that I've spent the last, well, 40 minutes collecting, and then from there, uh, teleport over to a ferry, see if I can get my set upgraded, and then from there... Uh, I found the Goron, that's, okay, wait, 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 that's, that's the shrine, meaning the village is down here. I found the, uh, not Goron, the Gerudo. There's a Gerudo sleeping at the inn, or at least that's where she was. We are currently over top of it, so let's stop by and say hello. If she's still here, because it was mentioned during the stream that there's a Gerudo here that will happily buy some of my stuff. She is no longer here. Oh, there she is, hello. Holy hotness. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> uh, Ramala. Savak. Flirting in the middle of the day, are we? Bold. Um, well, I was... I didn't realize that I was actually the one saying that. The holy hotness thing. I thought you were saying that about the temperature of the area. I didn't really... <laughs> I feel like a fool now. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, okay. Very forward, aren't you? I am Ramallah, as you can see I'm from the Gerudo region. I came for the jewels that are to be found in Goron City. Well, <laughs> lucky for you. These days those magma bombs are causing trouble and preventing me from working. I'm not too happy about it. Mm -hmm. What is it? Have you never seen a real Gerudo before? That is a fair question. Well, I slathered fireproof elixir on my skin, so I'll be fine. What? I thought you drank it. All right. My bad. If you want to buy fireproof elixirs, a little Goron brat is selling them. I suggest you buy one and use it. I'm good. I have armor. I'd pay anything to save myself from this wretched heat. Oh. Cool. Will you buy stuff from me? Trying to gather jewels in this heat will be on my undoing. There's no rest for the jewel business. I need to apply this fireproof elixir as, as hard as I can. Strange concoction. Um. But. Hold on. She didn't have a... Did I... I didn't talk to her already, did I? Right? Uh, not that. Um, uh, this. Adventure log. Do I have a side quest for it? No, that's the memories. That's Varudanya. That's the main objectives. Okay, yeah, whoops. Uh, side quests. Here we go. Uh, Trial of the Sword. Oof. Um... Come on. Rita, Goron City. Here we go. Uh, need to defeat the Igneo Talus in Darunia Lake to... Ah, yes. I think I spotted that when I was looking for stuff. Um, medicinal Molduga. The guts of Molduga in order to get better. Oh, and that's Gerudo Town. Okay. Ferocious beast sensitive to slightest vibration. It attacks anything that comes near it. Oh, that's right. The, the thing out in the desert that we never found. Where in the world is this thing? It's heard that someone well acquainted with the seven heroine legend in Gerudo Town. Did I? I found this, right? No, no, no. I Well, I haven't found this. I found the person that's supposed to say something about it, right? I don't recall. Uh, a traveler named Zyle. I'm just looking for... Come on. Oh, right! Eliza! Which outskirt stable? Where was that? I'm trying to remember. But we do have the um, Master Sword now, so we could fulfill that. Do I need to buy an elixir? Because that's what I was curious about. She says to buy an elixir, but I don't need one. 
Are you the kid that's selling them? You want to buy something? It's fireproof elixir. Um. Okay. Fine. Um, thank you. Ah, uh, no thank you. Alright, thank you, Off-Rack. It's an interesting name. So, hold on. Milady, did you want one? Okay. I thought I could bring you stuff. Do I need to have... I'm gonna drink it and see what she says, because I don't know what else to do. There, I have one going. Um... What? So I just wasted a fireproof elixir for no reason. Ha! Ah! I thought I'd talk to you about buying stuff. Do I need to talk to Bluto? To Bluto? Because I don't want to start the um, the main quest of the area just yet. You know what? Screw it. I guess we are going to. Let's go. Ha! <laughs> it's the tiny traveler. You know, Bo told me all about how you helped him, brother. Here's a reward for you. Highly, it's like you need this sort of thing, right? I just spent 60 rupees on one of those, and you gave me three? <laughs> All right, fine. Okay, then. Well, I took my painkiller, so I guess it's time to meet up with Yonobo. I mean, no disrespect to Daruk's legacy. But I'm not, if I'm not here to give that Redania a good wallopin. Are you telling me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? Is that him carved into the stat? Yep, there he is. Okay. See that statue up there? That's Daruk. I had noticed, yes. Slow camera shot. Oh, we're getting full on cutscene. To an extent. I'm going to take a glug here. There he be. The back and forth is quite funny. Whoa! He's about to do a shot put! Honestly, though, that's what he looks like he's going for. Ho! That's very cool of you, Daruk. Daruk, okay. So it is a very full uh, ooh sound. Well, I'll take your word for it. I'm not going to try biting into one. Oh, jeez. You have broken my spine. Thank you, sir. Indeed it is. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Okay, so she's very much a detail-oriented person. What hath happened? Hold on, are we gonna get... Are we going to see... Oh, okay. He going to punch it. He hath succeeded in the punch it. Ooh, is that going to be the ability we get from him? What was I saying? Oh, what was I saying before I literally punched a boulder out of the sky? Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. That seems to have changed. I appear to have a problem on my hands. <laughs> the gingerbread man got very serious. No offense to Taruk. What's gotten into you? Highly and sure are strange. Anyway, you know Bo's actually a descendant of the great Daruk. And you're not? For some reason I was thinking you were related. 
That's why that slacker can even use the Rook's protection. He uses it to protect himself when he f when we fire him at Redone. <laughs> what? <laughs> you fire Yanobo at Redania? Why? That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. So you fire one of your people at him because he has the ability to shield himself from the impact. No wonder Yanobo ran away and locked himself in a cave. All right, that's enough out of me. Time to drive off Redania. Uh. Ouch. Oh. Oh, yeah, just peachy. Dumb traveler, of course I'm not okay. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell you no, Bo, that I'm going to have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Bridge. <laughs> Elden Ring? Elden Bridge. Is that going to be where we just were? Uh... Yep, that's what I thought. Good thing we just did this sh uh, this shrine here. Very handy, actually. Well, yeah, the, the teleportation through his back. That was a weird choice for camera angle. The steed takes the lead. Ooh. Obedient horses will follow pathways without being told to. Leave the running up to your loyal steed every once in a while. That's cool. Is Cadbury at that point yet? And if not, how do I tell when he is? Oh, yeah, I'm going to swap off the the Cobble Crusher to the Master Sword. Because I had the Cobble... Cr what? Nope, no. Uh, I had the co Cobble Crusher equipped simply because I was breaking a bunch of ore deposits. But now that is not the case, so I need not do that. Oh, dear. Uh, 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 get up the cliff. Get up the cliff. Thank you. Um... I don't think those guys were there before. No, they weren't, because that's that's um that's him. That's that's Yonobo. Yonobo, I'm coming! Um have I taken a picture of a Yes I have. Those are black moblins. That's a problem. Um Okay. I was gonna come in guns blazing. Yeah! Someone please help me! No problem, dude. I had a bomb ready to go, but um kinda ate it. Hi there. Okay, Baldershell game, I was in the middle of a coumpage, and you scrumped my flump. Nope, 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 you're dead. Okay, you know what? I'm beginning to think that you don't like to play fair. Okay, and are you going to do a thing? Okay, I thought it was going to do the thing. And you're going to do the thing? You're going to attack me? Eh? Okay. Whatever happened to Flurry Rush there? Oh, Jiminy Frederick. This is such balder shell. Okay. Um, I don't have anything else. I have this, but I don't want to... Okay. Can I... Can I, like, do the thing where I dodge? There we go! Flipping finally. Nice. And he's oofed. You can come out, you know, Bo. Big old doughboy. Wow! You're crazy strong, Goro! You saved me again! I don't remember if this is the voice I gave him before, but it is definitely the voice I'm sticking with now. I cannot? Alright, good to know. How much does the other one do? Because I have one already. The boop. Not worth. Not worth in the slightest. Hey, bud. How can I help you? Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did, Goro. <sighs> Still no sign of boss, eh? Huh? Huh? Not coming, but why, Goro? Mm -hmm. After we went through all that trouble to get them, the painkillers didn't even end up working, Goro. Well, if the boss can't help, there's nothing else we could do. I suppose I'll just head back now. Wait a minute! 
Huh? You're not going back? But why, Goro? Huh? What? You're gonna try to board the Divine Beast? Who do you think you are, Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there, Goro! Mm. Though I guess if you weakened it at first, it might be possible. But why risk it? Dude, it's me. I'm the hero. Huh. Well, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons, Goro. Huh. The problem is, good old boss raised the bridge of Elden to make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over here. In order to get where Radanya is, you'll have to find a way to get the a bridge of Elden back down, Goro. Boss would normally use the cannon to lower it. Ah, we can't get across unless we figure something out. If Boss can't come down here, then he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck, Goro. Oh, it occurs to me that you know how to use the cannons, don't you, Goro? Maybe we can get across after all. So let's just do... Uh, so let's just do what... My words are absolutely here. I just cannot spit them. So let's just do what I do to help boss sometimes. That means I'm gonna be the cannonball. And you'll launch me, Goro. I can't believe I have to slow it down this much. I've got Daruk's protection, Goro. My ancestor's help can't possibly fail me. You're jinxing yourself, McDude. That means I can smash into anything and it won't hurt one bit, Goro. Having that sort of ability is going to be very handy if we do indeed get it. My ancestor Daruk was a big deal, Goro. That's what Boss says. So it's just gotta be true. I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry, Goro. So rest easy, got it? We'll go on then. Take aim at the Bridge of Elden and fire away, Goro. Just, you know... Be kind of gentle about it. How are you supposed to... Okay. Uh, apparently, you can curl into a ball that's small enough. Um, Kaboomafu goes into there. Gotta turn the thing, though. Stink. And... Blat. <laughs> wow! Mew. Goodly! Let's see how this goes. Probably scary for us, I would assume. <laughs> Ready to play Marble Blast Gold with Yonobo. Oh. We did it! See that, Goro? If we put our heads together, anything's possible! That power I got from my ancestor, Daruk's protection, it really is something, isn't it? Anyhow, I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet, Goro. Let's get a move on across that bridge, brother. Sure thing, dude. Um, I kind of want to eat more food, though. Uh, yes. Eat more food, though, because um, I am kind of in a bad way right now. I probably should have cooked more. Yeah, I definitely have more room for food. Uh, geez, where's the nearest much of the heartness? Whoops. Uh, no, no. That's... I mean, that'll get me a good ways. And that'll fill me to full. Might as well. Nice. Thanks, McDude. Hey, where, where are you going, dude? The Divine Beast, Varadanya, is out causing trouble again. Uh, I'm aware. I thought I was supposed to talk to you once we were here. Bridge of Elden. Death Mountain Marker 8, Bridge of Elden. Heat level 2, non-Gorons turn back or burn. I mean, I have the thing, right? I can go here, right? I have armor. Cutscene. There's big old Dudo. Divine Beast Varadanya. Have I taken a picture of the other Divine Beasts? I feel like I have, right? Like I have to have. <laughs> Very nice. Cool. Um... Um, no! No! Why drone attacks? Oh, this is... Oh, no. I just watched The Suicide Squad, the James Gunn movie. Um, like, a couple... Oh, boy. It was last night. Uh, last night specifically. And, um... This is reminding me of Starro. Because, you know, minions spewing from pores. Oh, yikes! 
A sentry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. If one finds you, Rudani will go nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt, Goro. I always get spotted, and then magma bombs come running down one after another. If Boss were here, he'd swat those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think you'd be able to do that, Goro. And I don't want to cause you any trouble. Oh. Maybe the best idea for you is to give me the signal to let me know when I should stop and when I can move forward. Oh no. The signal. Am I going to have to whistle? Wait, no, that would call that would call Cadbury. Oh, okay, good. We're going to decide. As um, well, the whistle, unfortunately, we'd call... Wouldn't that call Cadbury? Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be, Goro. Uh, got any ideas? The whistle's like the only thing that we can do, unfortunately. A whistle? Oh, that's a great idea, Goro. When I hear you whistle, I'll either stop in my tracks or start moving forward. I like it. Even though it's kind of like calling a horse, Goro. Okay, then. I'm counting on you to, and your whistles to make sure I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. Please tell me that this is actually going to be a thing that we can control. Like, n not have, uh, not have, uh, what's his face? Cadbury come over here? So wait, how are we supposed to hide? Okay, so it's going, it's going, it's going. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Uh, you know boat, you know boat, get under here, get under here. <laughs> yep. Okay, keep moving, you know boat. You gotta keep moving. I don't wanna stop. I don't wanna stop for the, the deposits. Okay, we gotta, gotta keep moving. Those are boulders. Oh. Oh no. Um, where's the next overhang? Uh what 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 am I supposed to do? Um, wait, no. Okay, I didn't think so. Um wait, can I Is this new? It is. Cool. I will take a picture of that. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, Va Radanya is not going to be a thing. Uh, wait, so do I... What, what do I do to avoid detection here? Um... Like, seriously, what do, what do I do for this one? Oh! Um, I will happily take that. Uh, let's go with this quick. Okay, and then for this one, nice. All right, cool. Okay, Yanobo, are you able to follow? Oh, dang it. Apparently not. I get a screw out of it. All right, let's push these rocks down. Get them out of the way. Hit. Yanobo, could you please move? I need to apparently help you by moving rocks, even though you are much more suited for this. It... Okay. It... It... Yeesh, my knees are shaking, Goro. Okay, so you're still useless. It... Bruh. There we go. I had to get the leverage. All right, let's get going. This is definitely a more different fight than I expected. Cannon. Yes. We will cannon away. All right. Uh, can I... Hmm. Can I bomb L sentries? Okay. Here we go. So, Kershunk. Um. I... What the... I don't think I hit it. Um, am I supposed to shoot you directly at it? Oh, apparently so. My bad. <clears throat> yeah, it sounds like he did not enjoy that. Um, Daruk, 
Or not Daruk, sorry, um, oh, there he is. Yanobo. Yep, dibbity oop! We did it, Goro! If we can keep this up, we should be able to corner Radanya. You are way too excited about taking blunt force trauma to the head. Okay, so... Am, am I... What are we supposed to do with this? Um... Cool, we get some more... Uh, minerals. Oh, jeez. Um... Okay, you stay here in a Yanobo. I'm gonna see if I can solve anything here. Aha, I can! With Magnesis! Okay, there we go. So, uh, Magnesis. Cool. Got that one. Um. Okay, so I, for this one I need to actually... Move the block and then move over. Okay, and then from there, grab it again. Cool, got that one. Oh, cool. Did not expect that. Okay. Um. Oh. Interesting. Oh, please don't fall on me. Um. Okay, okay, it sits, it sits, it sits well. Cool. I think the plan, like the, the, the objective normally would be to use the, use the bridge. But I'm just going to knock this guy over as well. Because why not? Alright. So, is that all the sentries for the area? Okay. Cool. Um. Y Yenobo couldn't hear me. Yenobo! Are you really that hard of hearing? I didn't think you were, but apparently you are. Yanobo! Okay. okay! All right, come on, bud. He is following. At a snail's pace, but he is following. It's an interesting premise, though. I will give it that. Rather than directly fighting, we're engaging in stealth and cunning tactics, which is, like, the reverse of what you'd expect for the Goron related Oh hi bud. Yep nope uh, lizard di lizard dang it. Um oh hi Okay Bud Um I need to swap to something more damaging Um perhaps this All right, and then we jump. Cool. <sighs> cool, we got all the moblin bits. All right, we got cannon. Uh, can we kaboomafu? Um, wait, bud, can we... What... Wait, can I... Do I have to talk to you? I'll follow your instructions, promise. Just whistle let me know what you need to do, Goro. Yep. Get in, bud. There we go. I was like, hold on. I am confusion as to why you are not doing the thing that I've asked you to do. Kaboomafu! Pow! Wait, what was the thing just above us? Tis very mad. El Scream Lizard. Um, Lizard Much the Yell. This is gonna be a longer episode, I can tell. We did it! Direct hit, Goro! And thanks to Daruk's protection, that hurt me one bit, Goro! My ancestor came through for me! 
If we keep weakening it like this, we should be able to get inside. Don't let up, brother. Please tell me that this is the last stage, like a Mario boss. There's only three. Okay, don't need another hammer. Um, What do I need to... Not sure what to do here. All right. Okay. So there's some... Gotcha. I can climb up here. Cool. Gotcha. I think I see what I need to do here. I climb up here. I think. Okay. I need to... Throw a bomb... There's no place to stand, though. Okay. Nope. Okay. Can I roll this thing down the hill? I think I should be able to. Hold on. Uh, equip that and then stasis, please. Um. Um. Well, I did not expect that to happen. Um, is there a way to <laughs> get up to where I can drop a bomb and do it that way? I did not expect to be able to hit that rock that far. My bad. Okay, so. All right. I am in the cleft of the rock. Can I... This. Ye? Okay, well, that, that kind of did something. Throw. Um, oh, jeez. Okay. There's a bit of an updraft there, but I don't know if that's enough. Uh, yeet. Oh, I got one. Yeet. Got it. Nice. And there's some nice little extra goodies here. All right. Cool. What? He's literally like two steps behind me. Apparently, I have to be an icon, uh, like, be able to make eye contact with him. It's kind of dumb, but all right. Wee! But Yonobo can't reach my location. Why? Yes, he can. He's right there. Liar. Okay, so how am I supposed to do this one? All right, stay put, bud. I'm gonna try something. Don't know what I'm going to try, but I'm going to try it. Okay. What does the game want from me? Oh, do I actually have to run between? Okay. Okay. Okay, not quite. Luckily, I'm not in the spotlight. Where's the bomb? Okay. Not what I wanted. Can I... Oh, I see. Cool. So, uh, what I want to do here... Magnesis again. And then... Okay. Well, I screwed that up. Try again. Nice. And then from there... Got that one. Uh, and then from that one... Uh, bomb. Let's see if we can throw a bomb for here now. So we get the round bomb, yeet it. That did not go where I wanted it to. 
All right, so. Ye uh, yeet. That was almost right. Ye. Okay, I gotta I gotta time it a bit better. So, yeet it now. And then it comes back up. Ha ha! Timing explosives for destroying drones is tight. All right, so can I? No. Um. No, not um, magnesis. Can I move this? Down the way enough to where I can kill them by dropping it on their heads. Alright. Okay. I apparently missed. Not sure how, but I missed. Oh! Come on! Oh, jeez. Um. Hmm. Can I... I'm gonna try boulder. Boulder is probably not gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh, stasis. Okay. Oh, that was probably too much. That's probably way too much. Yeah, way, 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 way too much. Um, bomb hit and run, I guess. Um, yep, this is gonna be my tactic now. Well, that did nothing. Yeet. Yeet. Okay, that actually worked out really well. Um, um. Oh, oh, that worked out really well, actually. Nice. Okay. Thank you, Urbosa's Gale. That was extremely nice. All right. Uh, where is... Oh, crap. You know Bo's a good ways back again, isn't he? This should be the last one, though. So we should be wrapping up the episode here. If this is indeed the last one, we can... Um, we can fire Yonobo, get the thing to do the thing, and save the world. Uh, where is Yonobo? Oh, there he be. Come on, bud. I've dealt with the drones. And also the moblins. We are in good hands. Cool. Coming along, bud? I hope this is the last one. If not, this is much... Like, this fight, whether you only have to do it three times or not, seems to... Oh, yeah, th there's no more path. This is definitely the last one. Which is good, because, boy... Even with it the it only being three. Oh, nice. Thanks, bud. Um, even with it only being three, this is by far the longest of the four fights. Kaboomafu! Oh, that person I saw was me. <laughs> nice. Sitting still. Hooray! You gonna you gonna stay still like permanently now? Hopefully there's like some sort of artificial gravity on this thing. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to stay upright. Okay, he's still moving. You know, Bo, are you in there still? Or did you bounce back down already? Oh, he's going to be standing on top of the volcano. Um. Um. Oh, no. Oh, that's a problem. That is a, an exceedingly amount of problem. Please? That was so cool. You really put a licking on that thing, Link. It's time to finish the job. Yeah, but now he's in the volcano. 
Oh, Jiminy, why did I do that? Yeah, I'd be worried too, Yonobo. I just realized how, like, Yonobo's like shredded. Like, his, I've never seen a core with that many abs. Well, now it's at least horizontal, so we know it's supposed to look like that. I was going to say, how are we supposed to stay upright when it's tilted on the side of the mountain? But it seems that we're not. So, we are now inside of the machine. So, assuming that we don't immediately get some voice lines here from Daruk, uh, we're going to call the episode here. And next episode, we will be finishing off the final Divine Beast. Cool. Travel, get registered to map. Big poggers there. That does solve the getting back here problem. Hi, Daruk. Oh, I appreciate the confidence, bud. Indeed. You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. Indeed. Oh, geez, this place is filled with grossness. Cool, there's the map. You can grab the info from the guidance stone over there. Now get a move on. I will indeed, sir next time so if you guys did enjoy this episode of breath of the wild do the youtube stuff down below pop in the discord say hi leave a comment and i will certainly see your smiles soon see you